we frequently obtain an MRI of the wrist to determine the makeup of the mass. In about 50% of cases, the actual cyst does not even show up on the MRI. Therefore, when we do surgery, we take out the tissue, send it to the lab, and have it analyzed to confirm the diagnosis. Patients with ganglion cysts sometimes have the fluid aspirated or sucked out of the cyst through a needle. This is largely ineffective and has a high recurrence rate and also can damage an important ligament within the wrist while trying to do so. The definitive treatment is to remove the cyst surgically and send this to the lab to have this analyzed. Removal of ganglion cysts surgically is about a 15-minute outpatient surgical procedure performed under a general anesthetic to make sure the patient is not moving during the procedure as we re it requires taking the cyst out all the way down to the wrist joint. Frequently, I perform this with arthroscopic assistance, placing a 1.9 millimeter camera lens into the wrist to look around the wrist to assure that there is no other ligament or cartilage uh, injuries within the wrist joint. After removal of the ganglion cyst, you're placed in a splint for several days and then begin rehabilitation. Usually the total recovery is about six weeks, but you're quickly transitioning back into your normal activities within days to weeks. Overall soreness may persist for up to six weeks. Once the ganglion cyst is removed, it is highly unlikely to return or recur. In about 5% of cases, the ganglion cyst may come back. This is more likely when the cyst is on the front of the wrist where the dissection involves the nerves and arteries and you can't be near as aggressive removing the cyst in that area, therefore leading to a higher rec uh, recurrence rate.